okay after creating the home page now we need the login page and register page so here i'm going to create the login and register page but before this think about this that this contain the authentication stuff so i want to structure them into the proper folder to make this readable if our application is going bigger so it's easy to maintain its component otherwise if we will add 30 components into the single directory so it will hard to read those components right so make a proper directories for them and we can instantly navigate them to the proper uh, proper directory so here i'm going to create the auth directory right and in the auth i'm going to create a login page login dot view and then i'm going to create a register dot view right register dot view okay perfect and now we need this uh, uh, as we did this for the home page so just copy this and paste this into the registered one right okay i saved this nothing will happen we need to register first to register route so go to router it's about and we will not use this about so i'm going to make this register right this one is also i'm assigning this name register so this one is uh, register okay this one is same as we are assigning laravel routes uh, to uh, laravel routes a name right so it's same so we can call this using name or we can call this using url and this would be the register and make sure to add this component otherwise it will say that your component isn't resolved it's now different directory so that's why i'm going to add this here with the step by step okay uh, here you need to say that components right components and then you need to go to the auth directory and then find this register view right save this one and if you will oh i think my component uh, i missed this save this one and yes now it's loaded so that's why it's not throwing any errors whenever you will uh, did some mistake like save this one so it will enable to locate this uh, components in this way you will uh, you can read this that uh, is I'm doing something wrong I'm uh, using right, uh, wrong directory or wrong or I'm doing some type of mistake so make sure and then verify this so always I'll take a look on this uh, this console right okay perfect we are successfully able to ever to register this out and if I go here let me hide this if I go and uh, open the register register to refresh and yes we are on the register page but still it's showing the home page uh, things because we have replaced the home page with the uh, with the uh, this register and uh, uh, give a minute i'm going to create this here for using this i'm going to create a login stuff too right so i don't need to waste my time again by building the login stuff separately so just say that login something like this login and then do this same because they are in the same directory so i'm going to mention this login something like this uh, save this one and let's go back ah, we got the internal error okay it's a login from uh, login and here i said that login that's fine why well, say that template script is required in a single command ah because we haven't anything right so it's now telling us that there should be a template in this component so let me add a template just an empty template something like this okay let me add something hi okay and i think it's stuck right so let me close my server here yes uh, you can press so uh, you are uh, control plus c if you are on the windows twice time and then this will stop and yes it's not throwing any error let's get refresh and this will be resolved hope it will be resolved soon let's go here and let me see it that is it resolved and yes it's resolved okay uh, let's close this one and i am here on the register page so just mention this register and here we need the form right where we will register our user we name uh, we need the form first just go here and say that to form and here uh, let's wait for a moment to complete this action ah my god i think i'm choosing this wrong forms 
yeah this one is form we need this form so just copy this out and paste everything here and identify it properly okay and then move this here okay perfect save this one and go here and give it a refresh and yes we got this right it's working fine so now we don't want to make this so uh, width uh, too much long we want to make this so uh, into the eight column maybe with a refresh and it's look like uh what's um i think it's fine but maybe six would be fine yeah six is fine and we want to also offset some column here offset we are uh, want to set offset uh, 663 like so now it's in the center right perfect uh, we need the email address password and confirm password and we need also the name of user so uh, replicate this for the password right password and this would be the you can say that this would be for the password uh, confirm password confirm password and this would be the oh not this one it would be the confirm password so i'll let run pass this uh, v model attribute for now i'm removing this confirm password okay fine and here we need the another attribute which is name right we will get the name user name or something just name uh, it should be just name because username is different we can say that it would be without underscore uh, without spaces or something like this we don't want this we need just simple name right okay and this would be the text and make this yeah everything is correct save this one and yes we have a name email password and confirm password right i want to add a placeholder here so go here and add a placeholder enter your name okay just copy this out here and in the email i want to say that to uh, enter your email right and in the password i want to say that enter your password enter your confirm password confirm password something like this Hit a refresh and yes it's now look like that um, it's easily now describing that what the user should enter here right so now we have a button we have a checkbox and it's fine and now i'm going to copy all of the stuff and then moving to the login page where i'm going to replace this with done i'm going to say that remove this name from here right email should be there and then the password and remove this confirm password and checkbox so save this one and just move to the login page and yes we got this and remove this you will never share there email because we, he is already registered and perfect we have email address password and uh, submit button not the submit it would be the login and replace this with this uh, register right and also do this here register and in the register i'm going to say that hey register uh not this login let's be register <sighs> okay perfect we have a login page and we have a registered page so let me check the video size oh my god every time my video size is going bigger right so uh, after uh, this i'm going to implement the uh, stuff that uh, how you can uh, register yourself how to navigate those uh, links if you are on the home page how you can click on this and just go back to the home page so how you can do this so i'll do this in the next video and if you like the video must subscribe this channel and i'll meet you in the next one bye bye